Welcome to the 2022 Father Hennepin Parade. I'm John Cox and I'm joined by Steve Boynton as we'll be your host for the next 90 minutes for Champlin's Right of Summer. We're located at the parade's midpoint at Kentucky Circle and West River Road. And we have great weather, Steve, for this year's parade. It is good to be back after a two year hiatus due to COVID and you know, the crowd is already gathering and it looks like people are excited to be back out and about with fellow Champlin residents. Yes, you have that right. It's been two years. We have been unemployed for the For our uh, viewers, we have two bands this year, City of Anoka or the Anoka High School, Champlin Park High School, and then what it appears to be about 60 units this year. And John, our first unit is just coming into view. It is Champlin American Legion Post, but actually our color guard looks, looks to be the sheriff's equestrian unit. what appears to be some of our finest horses as well. It looks like we might have a criminal in that car. That's, <laughs> I've seen that before. John, I think if you look closely, uh, atop of one of our horses here is former council member Julia Whalen. I think you're right. Yes, carrying the uh, Carrying the POW MIA flag. Yes. Well, we have now coming into our view, we have the sheriff's office with their one of their vehicles. And then followed by a boat that we see up here occasionally on the uh, recreational pool, Mississippi Recreational Pool from Hennepin County. Yeah, the, the recreational pool, of course, patrolled by both Hennepin County, Anoka County, and the DNR. So Something that has gotten, quite frankly, the seven-mile pool has gotten a little busier over the years with some of the new development going on in Champlin and Anoka and Brooklyn Park. And now we have our fire department, which is a combination department. It means it's both full-time and part-time and unpaid firefighters. We have three full-time firefighters and the rest are paid volunteers. I think we mention it every year, John, but the Anoka fire, Champlin Fire Department is distinguished by its right white fire engines and we're getting to see a whole lineup of them here good looking vehicles with some of our firefighters kids on board dates back to 1857 when back in those days they were actually drawn by white horses and that's where the white trucks now come into play And of course, the fire department showing off its own boats that it, couple of them, couple of them. And we, I see them out there on the river doing training exercises. These are just first class yes. vessels. Take a look at those. Those are wonderful. Yeah, I will tell you what, the, the, the volunteers that work for our fire department and commit a lot of hours, a lot of time and energy, supported by a lot of families are so critical to the success of not only the fire department, but uh, also in terms of the safety of our community. So to thank you to all those who volunteer to the uh, Anoka Champlin Fire Department. Always fun for the families of the firefighters to get to take a ride, wave to some of the people along the route. 
You have to get a little TV time if you're going to be in the parade. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, they've got their waves down. <laughs> So, Steve, I think who we have coming into view now, coming down West River Road, is our Grand Marshal, uh, Mike Bray, who I think you know, Mike. Um, we have talked to him. We do a little podcast. We'll talk about that later. But um, Mike has been very helpful to us in terms of talking about a little history about Champlin. But he is Mr. History for the Champlin Historical Society, and he is this year's Grand Marshal uh, with the Champlin Historical Society. I see him just coming into view behind our council members who are leading the charge in front of Mike, uh, as is usual. You know, a note to people that if you haven't got a copy of the Champlin History Book, you need to stop by City Hall and pick up a copy. I think they're about $30. The history goes all the way back to 1858 when the city of Champlin was actually a township and was part of a town called Marshall with the city of Dayton. So there we're getting a good get. look at getting a good look at Mike Bray, our grand marshal for this year. Here we have our council coming through. Good to see Mayor Karasik, our city council. As they come through, they're doing an outstanding job. And here we see. We have coming into view again uh, with the Grand Marshal and Mike. We have again the Champlain Historical Society. Wonderful group. Does a wonderful job of uh, chronicling what took place in Champlain again going back. Um, 100, 150 years. You know, one of their big, big projects and, and one of the things that really makes Champlin so special is the maintenance of the Dunning School. And you see coming into view, this is a little Dunning School float promoting the ice cream social that goes on throughout the weekend. It's a chance to stop by, see the building from the inside, preserved as it was when it was an operational school, one-room schoolhouse, located right down along West River Road, a big part of the Historical Society's mission and, and some of the things that they do in Champa to preserve our history. I, and this is a special moment for you. So I came uh, to the city of Champlain in the early 90s, but I know you actually went to school at Dunning. <laughs> and um, what grades did they cover? Was it, it was a kindergarten through 12, or when you went there, what grades were those? Dunning closed long before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not before I was born, but it was closed by the time I was school. Just had closed. Just had closed. Yeah. But back in those days, and to your point, Champlin kids went up the road across the river, and they went to Anoka. Absolutely. Right? There was no Champlain Park High School. We have there was just Anoka. So. Good to see you, Nate. Just joined here by uh, Nate Truesdale on the City Council. We have, I guess it's just indicative of all the traffic we have going on backed up from Anoka. It's it affecting the parade. <laughs> <laughs> We've got standing traffic on West River Road. I personally think it was the horses. They were moving a little slow. <laughs> They are just up the just up the route a little bit, exhorting the crowd to give a round of applause to our Grand Marshal Mike Bray, Mayor Karasik, riling the crowd up, getting them fired up. 
If you look on the screen, just coming up the parade route is the last of the historical society. Take a look at that. That is a vintage tractor. Champa oh, wow. was, of course, a farming community for many, many years, well into the well into the 60s. Not much here, but farms. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if this is one of the tractors. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Wow, picking up all kinds of goodies from our <laughs> council members stopping by. Tom Moe. Good to see you, Tom. So is this what I, in our notes here, I've got something like a 90, 1950 John Deere. Is this is what we're looking at here, Steve? Or is that, is that predates that, I've got to believe. 1912. 1912. Wow. And still running. They don't make them like that anymore, John. We and go you, from old to brand new as the city of Champlain is showing off some of its uh, wow. hardware. Looks like one of the nice new plow trucks from Public Works. That is a beauty. You could do a driveway pretty quick with one of those buttes coming up. Yes. Take one swipe. Yeah, excellent, excellent Public Works Department. They take care of over 100 miles of roads in the city of Champlin. And as you know, it that's a quite a... That's quite a job on wintry days, trying to get people in and out of town uh, for their commute. One of the perennials at the parade here, First Student Bus Company, located right here in Champlin. Like everybody else, it seems, in the world right now, obviously advertising for people wanting to drive bus. And take a look at that, John. 20 to $25 an hour and a $3,000 signing bonus. Wow. If you're interested, contact that, first student. That number has changed. Well, with the pandemic and with uh, uh, the changes in the workforce, that number has definitely changed. Um, and we now have, and we're joined by Primrose Schools, um, which is a local school that just located down the road in Brooklyn Park. And then here's one coming into view that I am really excited about, the Bowline, which if you've not been there, take some time, take a look. New market rate apartment building on the Mississippi River. It's a project that's been in the works for some 25 years, and it is up, and they are moving units quickly. So... We've also got members of the professional karate studio here in Champlin showing off some of their karate discipline. You know, every year it seems like uh, we, I, I, they break boards right in front of us. I don't mm -hmm. see that this year. One of my one of my favorite parts of the uh, of the parade is just seeing our youth uh, doing and exercising and, and showing off their hobbies and their their abilities on pavement. <laughs> Holy cow, do not try that maneuver at home. No. So the professional karate schools of Champlin, they've been here for a good number of years too. Very loyal operation and have a, as you can tell, have a very strong following within the community. How about this? This is a first time entrant for me, John. Nautical Bowls. Brand no. new business. Yes. Hayden Lake Road, 169. Have you have you had a chance I to have pop not, over? But I am going to. That looks absolutely delicious. It looks I wonder whether they started out as a food truck business and then they have graduated to bricks and mortar. I've just heard a lot of wonderful things about nautical bowls. And you can see they got a website if you want to look at their menu. Nauticalbowls.com. And then down the road from that is Cub Foods. They're oh. a gold level sponsor, and they're located, of course, in Champlain Marketplace over at 114th and 169. Just one of our local grocers here in town. Pick up lots of great produce, deli meats, and fresh meats. Hey, we should probably talk a little bit about what's going on around town this weekend, Steve. 
you know, a lot of activities in, planned. Just like every Father Hennepin Festival, jam packed agenda tonight. There, the uh, band under the big top is Bad Girlfriends. They are a rock band, also doing a mix of classical and country. Kind of just a little bit of everything, something for everyone, I should say. So check them out at the tent tonight if you get a chance. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, here we have Servant of Christ Church. And they are located just up the road here at the end of the parade route, right on West River Road and Hayden Lake Road, the intersection. We've got some members of the congregation. They always do a nice job with the float. And they do. a former QC TV exec coming over yes. here to hand us treats. Thank, Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. <laughs> Just joined by Mary Ebanks, who former City of Champlin employee, servant of Christ Church, and also an announcer at the parade for many years. That um, was actually Susan, but yes, all those things about Mary. I'm were sorry, true. that was Susan. <laughs> Susan Houston. Yes. Okay. Is the senior I, bus I, is the senior bus coming by with the memory <laughs> care? I might need to jump on that. I'm sure that Mary bus. will be. <laughs> she'll be excited to know she made the broadcast. Oh, I, you know what? I my goal was to just work that in somehow. I'm glad I could do that. Here's what I was talking about. These are the board breakers from Yarwood Martial Arts, John. And look at them. These young guys have got boards, and I guarantee they're going to start breaking them. Wonderful. Hopefully we get a chance to see some of oh. that. Oh, there's your first. Snapped her right in half. Nicely done. They go through a lot of lumber in this parade. <laughs> so we have, you mentioned tonight, we've got bad girls. We have a pretty good band coming tomorrow night as well couple of them local yeah. favorite anderson daniels kicking it off tomorrow night local local musician making it big making his presence known he's got a couple of hit singles out that he's done well with and we're following that up with the fabulous armadillos and chris hockey uh last year i got to attend probably 2500 to 3000 residents out there to just have fun and listen to the music great time so i'm looking forward to that again this year we're going to be a great time on the river, and this year they're introducing a, a pass for the day for $20 to go see both groups both on Saturday. Bands, absolutely. We've got our, El, our own Elm Creek Animal Hospital being represented here with their float and some good-looking canines. See if we can see any other types of pets, mostly dogs it seems to be. They do a wonderful job caring for the pets of Champlin. Good to see ya. No, just for the parade. So the Elm Creek Animal Hospital coming through here, just talking with the former owner, um, Dick Ryerson. Yeah, good to see him. We've got some Anoka royalty coming up the parade route, John. Of course, Anoka, the Halloween capital of the world. And every year they they join us. I shouldn't say every year, but this year they're joining us again with their royalty. Excellent float this year. The royal ambassadors this year are Mallory, Claire, and Angelina. Mallory Jones, Claire Tremble, Tembrel, and Angelina Collins. And our own Julie Tembrel, I'm guessing the mom of Claire, stopping by to say hi. We have coming into view, Project My Neighborhood is having a world's largest water fight Saturday, July 16th, followed by a Nerf battle. If you want more information, 
Check them out, www.projectmyneighborhood.org. And this is an event for all ages. Do you think it's Project My Neighborhood or Project My Neighborhood? It's a good question. Project. Project. I'm going to go project. Yes. <laughs> I got to check them out, their website. I have not familiar with them, but it sounds like it's going to be a blast. Take a look at the crowd we have out here this year. Lots of kids enjoying it and adults also setting up their chairs early. This has just become a staple, and it just reminds you of how much uh, as a community, we have missed these types of outdoor gatherings and getting together. It's great no. to see families back out enjoying themselves. So. No question. Before we got started on air, we had a number of people that came over to talk, chat, find out some information, and all of them across the board were just so excited that this is back, um, back on the books. Should also mention tonight we've got the big fireworks display starting at 10:15 p.m. and that is sponsored by Tetra Pak again this year. Just one of the best fireworks displays anywhere in the Twin Cities. Goes on forever, and that'll be shot. That that will be uh, going on at 10:15 this evening right here uh, outside of Point Park. Fire off the fireworks. And not only that, if you are down to Park Point. Mississippi Point Park, you get an opportunity to see what's going on with development on the river, which is just outstanding. We saw the bow line go through, and that's the new market rate apartment building. Uh, we have the amphitheater that is under construction. Uh, we have the, I'll say, the public plaza, and I'm not sure if they've given that a name yet, but that is under construction. And w announcement for a restaurant coming to town as well. So a lot of really exciting things on the waterfront and of them we've also got um, your boat we have my boat, boat club rental. my boat club that yes. is also down there as well so again we talked earlier 25 years in the making this city council uh, making it all happen and uh, it'll should be it's in a very exciting time uh, to be on the river well and check out the event center too just just about coming to it looks like it's buttoned up and they're working on the inside but it looks you know, it's going to be a spectacular place to hold events. And from what I've seen, there are things for everybody there. So we have coming into our picture our first band. We've got two tonight. Uh, we have our host, the Champlin Park High School Marching Rebels. As we like to do, we're just going to go silent and let you take in uh, the views and the sounds of Champlin Park. Over the last 29 years, the band has performed and competed across the country in parades as well as field competitions in Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Tennessee, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, California.
That, that was our very own Champlin Park marching band. John, that is 70 dedicated musicians, and I should point out that just this year they participated at the New Orleans Sugar Bowl Parade and the Halftime Festivities. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. I did not know that. It's quite a nice little deal for the local Champlin Park Rebels. That is nice. Wonderful job. Wonderful you know, we job. should mention for those who are looking to get over the crossings, and we know parking can be difficult over there, but uh, First Student is, has a shuttle bus, and they have expanded it this year. So you can pick up the shuttle bus at from 5 p.m. till midnight, actually, um, and Saturday from noon to 1230, again, working a little bit over midnight. And you can do that at a number of locations, including J. Rack Park, the Ice Forum, Northland Park and Brittany Park. So uh, that is something to not only to get you there safely, but uh, also to kind of be a little more efficient in terms of the parking. So we've got cyclists from Trailhead Cycling right here in Champlin. Great bike shop. All the latest fat tire equipment and cool things to pedal. Showing off some of their oh yeah some of their nice bikes. Great operation, and what a great place to live in Champlin when you've got a trailhead that goes into the park reserve with 51 acres of park uh, and then dozens and dozens of miles uh, to be able to ride around in the northwest suburbs. This is just a great full-service bike shop, too, bringing your bikes in for tune-ups and check out all the latest gear at Trailhead. Hey, if you're waking up on Sunday morning and you're wondering what to do, Steve, we've got the Public Works Youth Fishing Contest going on, and that's at 11 a.m. on the Mill Pond. You can get your kid ready, take them down to Doris Camp Park on the Mill Pond. Everything starts at 11 and goes to noon, and they'll have prizes there that will be awarded for those with catches. Used to be the mayor's fishing event was for it not? many years it was the mayor's fishing contest and i was convinced they just made it that way because your job as the mayor was to take the fish off the hooks <laughs> so i think the mayors gave up on that and said let's let public works do <laughs> <laughs> but a staple nonetheless for uh every year at the father hennepin festival so here we have coming into view rasmussen cleaning services Sneezing, wheezing, staring at spots and stains on your carpet? Of course you are. Let the air duct and carpeting cleaning experts at Rasmussen help you breathe easier and live fresh and clean. And give them a call at Rasmussen. Look at that close-up of that equipment. That is some serious stuff there. That is. Especially this time of year, right? Everybody's complaining about the, the pollen, um, cottonwood, um, and so a good time to clean out all your ducks, folks. They're not on ice skates, but they're out here on rollerblades representing Champlin Park Hockey Association. Some good this looking skaters. This is something that you knew a lot about. I'm sure you have a lot of friends in this organization, and they have done a lot to support hockey in the Champlin community and the Champlin Ice Forum, correct? I coached within the association for many years, was on the traveling committee, and just a great organization, and turn out a lot of talented young male and female hockey players. I know a young one that is playing D1 hockey as a goalie now, and just a superb athlete. Last name is Boynton. <laughs> I think his first name is Brennan. Um, but it's been fun to watch his career as he's starting uh, in the college ranks, so. Yeah, it can happen right here at Champlin. That's yes. the message. There's our president riding in the, riding in the front vehicle. Got some hockey moms there at the back of the trailer. Don't give them enough credit. Hockey moms, just some of the greatest people in the world. We've got a little SUV decorated by Kids Rack where you can buy, sell, and trade lightly used clothing, kids clothing, right here in Champlin. For 17 years, they've been offering resale and closeout clothing, toys, equipment for 
children, infants, teens. They pay cash for kids' stuff, and then you get a great bargain if you want to buy some things. Started out at uh, Dean and 169, and then moved down the road to South Pond, that down at 114th and 169, and they're located right behind. Oh, is that cute? Right behind. Thank you Dairy very Point. much. <laughs> Got a little, a little candy. A little candy given to us by a kid. How nice is yeah. that? I remember being next to you years past and having candy thrown at us from the hockey group. So it was refreshing not to get pelted this year. Yes. That's what you get when you <laughs> coach those little red rats. <laughs> they, they like to throw things at you. This is a group that has been around forever. You know, the, the scouting is kind of at the, uh, the grassroots, uh, the foundation of the Champlain community. George Weathern, I believe, was the name of one of the gentlemen who was very active in the local uh, ranks here. And uh, it continues uh, decades later with Pack 276. And I probably would be remiss if I didn't mention Pack 420. Boy, very polite, very polite Thank scouts you. here, delivering candy to uh, to the parade. Were you a announcers. Were you a scout? I was both a Cub Scout, and you'll see the uniform right behind them, John. That is a Weebelows uniform. I, I was, was too. Well, there you go. Uh, went on to become a Boy Scout, uh, but never got that Eagle Scout. That Eagle Scout. It, which is a great achievement. It is. It yes. is. I have two brothers that rose to that level, but. And they are givers. I believe that's one of the. Thank you, guys. Slogans. We have cross services. They are a local service or organization, nonprofit providing services to uh, families and individuals in need um, and have been very helpful here in the city of Champlin as well as the North Metro area. Absolutely wonderful organization. Not to be outdone by the hockey players, we've got Three Rivers Skating Club coming into our picture. Yes. These are figure skaters. They do a wonderful job training, training young figure skaters of all ages and levels right out of Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. And, of course, Cassie Joyce, a Champlin resident, part of Three Rivers Skating Club for a very long time. They had a organization in town for a while, correct? And then went down to Brooklyn Park. Nice facility down there. Not the ice for them, but not bad. And in fact, speaking of skating, for those who are looking to cool off during what is going to be maybe a little warm weekend, we have open skating over at the ice forum. 130 to 3, strap on some skates, and you have open free skating over at your ice forum. So keep that in mind if you're thinking of things to do um, after that youth fishing contest. This is one of our new entries, Lilac Boutique of Champlin. They're a mother-daughter owned boutique. They offer new clothing, accessories, and gifts. And they feature a wide variety of local artists as well, promoting their wares. Haven't stopped by just yet, but I have to believe my wife has. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Well, we do have to put in a little selfish plug here. Because you and I, and I don't know if our listeners know, but we do a little podcast called The Champlain Project. And it is about the history of Champlain. We spend about a half hour doing a little research, talking about things in the past. But if you're interested, you, we're on Spotify and Apple. Uh, we got a couple episodes out called The Kid, The Vote, and The Evil Neighbor. Another one called The Plan, The Conflict, and The Big Compromise. 
One's about the history and formation of Champlin. The other one about Louis Auto Salvage, for those who know that. But check us out, The Champlin Project, on Spotify and Apple. That was a shameless plug done well. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Congressman Dean Phillips, some of his representatives coming down the parade route, representing folks here in Champlin in Washington, D.C., and driving the bus that kind of, I think, made him famous. Coffee and conversation was... A little surprise we don't have more politicians walking with us this year. It is a big year. Uh, midterm elections, right, Steve? Absolutely. Uh, but we do have our congressmen coming and joining us this year. And we had mentioned earlier, I think, we have three festivals also going on this weekend. So it is a very, very busy weekend uh, if you're in the parade business or you're a politician. Now, that is not Dean driving the bus, so is no. it possible he's back there having coffee in a conversation he's, right now? He is in a conference call with some coffee right now okay. in the back. In Minnesota's third congressional district, which includes Champlain. Well, I know at the outset you had billed our second band as Anoka, but I am going to correct the record as the Maple Grove Senior High School Marching Crimson are coming into view. Well, Anoka must have been a scratch, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> but so good for Maple Grove for stepping up. Absolutely. We will sit back and allow our viewers to take a listen to the Maple Grove Senior High Marching Band. was the Maple Grove marching band. Looked like one of the moms towards the rear was having a lot of fun dancing along to the music. Here we have America Family Insurance joining us in the Champlain Festival. Mike, Michael Phillips, American Family Insurance Agency to be more precise. Growing stronger with protection for what matters most, John. That is their slogan. I'm guessing that's Mr. Phillips tossing out some candy there. Oh, here's a favorite of people all summer long, the Metropolitan Mosquito <laughs> Control <laughs> District. Showing off that pesky mosquito giving us an idea of what they try and reduce throughout the summer. Did they, you ever as a kid ride your bike behind the truck that was putting out all the mosquito repellent gas or whatever that was? Uh, to be honest, I tried to avoid that. Did, did you? you? No. Well, it's obvious from my speech. Uh, and memory that I did not, but we used to enjoy doing that. But I'm finding it a trouble tonight. So here's our very own Champlin Park dance team. This is a competitive team that showcases dancer skills and encourages them to work as a team. 
performances also include uh, Champlain Park home football games, Pep Fest, various dance shows, Go Rebels. Really important part of the athletic uh, event, are they not? It, it, sporting events would nearly, wouldn't be nearly as much fun with having uh, the dance team and the Pep Fest and all of that goes with sports today. Well, and they are fabulous athletes in their own regard, John. These uh, are fit, talented folks. And they compete on a statewide and national level as well, do they not? Another one of our politicians, Danny Nadeau, running for Minnesota House, as you mentioned, in the upcoming midterm elections. Danny is a Republican endorsed candidate for the Minnesota House in Rogers, Dayton, Champlin. He's a lifelong resident and strong leader in Hennepin County who's focusing his efforts in the legislature on issues important to our communities. I'm just curious. So you have gone through, I'm visiting now, but um, redistricting just took place, did it not? It, so yes. that district so looks a little different than it did two years ago. We were just told that Kim Crockett, who's running for Secretary of State, is also promoting herself um, on the Republican side. So, good to know that. But that's something we go through every 10 years, right, with the redistricting and moving lines around and people have to kind of rethink uh, where to vote as well as who to vote for. Absolutely. We've got representatives from Modern Montessori Charter School. That's a public charter school located right here in Champlin. They're rooted in Montessori principles and they offer authentic Montessori experience with the modern twists, interweaving aspects of science, technology, engineering, and math and they serve students in pre preschool through eighth grade. Here we have another entrant in. We have some more politicians coming through. Karen Adia for State Senate. Hey, I want to take a moment. I know you love this event, and so I want to make sure we're not going to miss out on this, but the ice cream social, and that's one of those things that has happened every single year at Dunning School. And for those who are interested or for those who haven't been over to Dunning School, Saturday, 1 to 4, ice cream social. They don't want to miss that, do they, Steve? No. Wonderful chance, like I said, to get to see the inside of just a wonderfully preserved single-room schoolhouse and enjoy some cool summer ice cream served up by the historical society so and again wonderful. when you were there you probably have carved your name into the wall or something over there <laughs> i suspect <laughs> a desk or something hey we have a lot of rides this weekend as you drive by the highway corridor where the festival is at, just to keep in mind, carnival rides are there as well. Absolutely, we've got some members of Shooting Stars. It's a Christian theater company, building confidence and self-esteem in a humble way. Their musicals showcase small cast sizes where all cast members have their own speaking lines and singing solos, and they offer productions for kids in grades K through 12, as well as a family cast, which is kind of neat. Wow, that is neat. We have another another group representing Champlain Park. Their cheer team. Those are, we are actually looking at eighth to 12th graders and they support the sport teams by delivering and cheering for them on the sidelines and competing again at state and national competitions throughout the winter season. Yeah. 
They and they've had do. a lot to cheer about lately, too. The school teams, Champlain Park is a pretty dominant team they've in many done, sports. They've done well in many sports as of late, and and the cheer team does a wonderful job getting the crowd fired up for all kinds of events. Football and basketball and soccer and everything else. So, wonderful job. You know, none of this would be possible without our sponsors, and we're not going to go through all of them. Uh, we'll mention Ryan Sabas um, with Remax. He's our title sponsor, but we have 32 sponsors. Take a look on Champlin's Facebook page uh, to see who our sponsors are and pay them, pay them uh, some thanks and patronize those businesses. There you just saw a move by one of Champlin Park Wrestling members. It looks like one of the coaches there doing some demonstrations. Members of the Champlin Park Wrestling team. Out promoting the sport and getting kids interested in joining wrestling. Mm -hmm. Holy cow, yeah. We don't want to tangle with any of those guys. No. <laughs> so we have Sora Pediatric Therapy, which they provide the highest quality speech and language therapy, occupational therapy, feeding therapy, physical therapy. They help children with deficits, communication, self-help, uh, gross motor, fine motor, sensory, and academic skills to reach their fullest potential. Good to see them here joining us this year. We've got I-9 Sports along with us this evening. They are a, they're committed to providing age-appropriate instruction, making sports fun for kids and convenient for today's busy families. I-9 Sports. Well, we know this guy, Senator John Hoffman coming into view. And uh, we've talked a little bit about the crossings earlier, but without John, you know, the mill pond and the crossings and a lot of the good things that are happening in Champlain would have been very difficult to do uh, with his, out his ability to work both sides of the aisle and make some things happen. So appreciate John and what he's been able to deliver um, in the last several years for the community. Yeah, and it looks like uh, also promoting Melissa Hortman, Brian Raines, it's Senate District 34 DFL, so... These are your DFL representatives being represented. Here comes John Hoffman jogging along the parade route, giving us a thumbs up. <laughs> Mr. Ho <laughs> Senator Hoffman, always good to see you. John, it is the battle of who can pay more it for is. school bus drivers. It is. What are we getting? <laughs> We're getting paid 26 on this one. I like this number. Also $3,000 sign-on bonus. I might come out of retirement for 26. These are North Star Bus Lines, American Student Transportation. They focus on community. That's why they strive to make their company an amazing, tight-knit place to work. They take care of their drivers, and we can see that from the They're pay pretty scale. excited. They are. They are. They're dancing to $26 an hour is what they're doing. We are now coming up on the tail end of our, believe it or not, Steve, to our parade here, and we've got the CDAA Youth Lacrosse team showing off some of their skills this evening. This is for kids ages 5 to 14 years. You're going to toss a ball to one of them. Nice. Good catch. Wow. I think that was a good throw. I thought the throw was outstanding <laughs> yes. myself, but left-handed. A growing sport, right? I don't think when I was in high school, uh, we don't want to say when, lacrosse was not a sport. Uh, I don't even think it was in somebody's head at that point, but now extremely popular with the kids. Life is short, eat better pizza. That's what Jets Pizza has to say, John, because it has to be. We're not supposed to encourage people to leave the city for food, but I will tell you what, Jet might be one of those places. Uh, I have had Jets Pizza, and it is outstanding. Um, but we have a lot of fine places here as well. Soccer. Force soccer, the force. John. The force. <laughs> 
We've got the forces with us here. Absolutely. What is the force, Steve? You're a soccer player. You probably know something about this. Is this from Maple Grove? This is a local soccer organization. Uh, kids from all around this area are encouraged okay. to try out, play for this team, um, represent the Northwest communities up here. Traveling squad, I take it? Yes. Some good looking soccer players there. Yeah, yeah. And then as we started the parade, we will finish the parade with some of our finest coming through, making sure that all the patrons and the visitors along the route are well behaved. Uh, looks like they've already got a young one they've picked up and we we'll bringing in for questioning. <laughs> and of course, when you see Andy Singleton in the Kubota, Kubota pickup cleanup truck you I'm know. gonna get him to smile one of these days <laughs> he's just focused on the his mission today you know when you see him come by that that signals the end of another Champlin Park Father yes. Hennepin Days parade and now you're gonna start to see just some of the some of the residents along the parade route following it to its conclusion just trying to get a little TV time why would you not why wouldn't you why would you not okay so two marching bands maple grove champlin park both outstanding 60 units beautiful evening it was it, thank you it's been uh, three years i think since we've done this so it was a fun time uh, for everybody involved this year with the father hennepin parade Thank you, everyone at home, for watching, and enjoy this great Father Hennepin weekend. Bye.